Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Emuelic Masterclass. I'll be your host today, Emu Chicken. A few months ago, an unfortunate thing happened to my mob. I opened it up, got the heatsink off with a hammer, switched it with a larger heatsink, and then when I turned it on, the micro SD port just stopped working. To add insult to injury, the temperatures were actually the same as before. If you really want to cool it down, just take your top off. That is what she said. So how do we get it working without a micro SD slot? One solution is to use a USB port. You could use a regular USB stick and install either Emuelic or Badocera to it, and then smash it in. She said that too. For the micro SD card, you need to use one of these readers, and then it should boot. As we now only have one USB port free, we'd need to use a USB hub to connect more controllers. With all the cables flying about, it'd get very messy, and it'd ruin the aesthetics of this very cute box. Another solution would be to install Emuelic to the eMMC of this device. I bought this box with 4GB of memory, as well as 64GB of onboard eMMC. Right now Android 9 is installed onto it, and I never use it, so we're just going to wipe Android 9 and slam on Emuelic. So quick warning, if you're afraid of ruining your box, then don't do this. I also don't give a damn. So first we're going to load up Emuelic from the USB port. Just pop it in and turn it on. From here, navigate to the main menu and then go to network settings. Make sure we've joined the home network. Either plug in your LAN cable or connect via Wi-Fi. We can see here at the bottom that I'm connected to some monkey balls. Remember the IP address here and then we'll move to our computer. Load up the software, Wireless Network Watcher. Push the play button at the top left. You can see all of the devices on our network. At the bottom we have Emuelic with the same IP address. Load up the software PuTTY, then type in the IP address of Emuelic as you saw before. Leave the port as it is at 22, then press open. This will link your computer to your Emuelic box where you can remotely give it commands. But first we need to log in. For the username, type in root, R-O-O-T. And then for the password, emuelec, E-M-U-E-L-E-C. When you're logged in, it'll give you a little prompt, and then the hash symbol thing. That is the pound sign. Currently you're connected to your emuelec box via Telnet, an extremely powerful tool, which can be seen on the matrix. From here, type in C-E, E -M -M -C. C -E -E -M -M -C. C -E -E -M -M -C. space minus X. It'll give you a warning saying there's no support. To ignore it, press Y and then enter, and you'll be given a selection of one to four. You could try for a dual boot with Android if you press number one, but I tried that earlier and had no luck. I also don't care for Android, and I want more space for my ROMs. So I'm gonna select number three. This will use the currently working system of the micro SD and install it to the internal memory. No Android. Oh, and this could completely break your system. For the time being, we need to wait patiently until this is all finished. You could make a cup of tea for you and me. Sync thing. Once this process is complete, go to your Emuelic, press start, go down to quit, and then power it down. Take out your USB sync thing, and then turn it on again. With any luck, we'll have Emuelic with a lot of space. Now you can go add your games and have some fun. If you have success with this, please comment down below. And that also applies for failures. If you enjoyed this video, please like, subscribe, and I'll catch you on the flips. Ta-ra!